Hello and welcome, folks, and welcome back to another game of Let's Play Mame Game. Alright, I really f fudged all that up, but today's game is Blombi Car. And I gotta say, this is what it's all about. It's all about finding just some random game you never heard of, but as soon as you see the title of it, you know you just have to play. And, better yet, you boot it up, and it's an acceptable game. A game you can deal with. So, let's check out Blombi Car. You gotta dig the, um, weird sort of, like, spriting of real graphics. Alright. Go, go, go! C'était bien, vraiment! Non! Haha! <laughs> well, as you can see, it's a uh, French rally game. So, right now, we're just driving through uh, what I hope is not any sort of inhabited area. And we're just rallying away. Actually, if you've ever heard of the uh, Neo Geo, they had a game like Neo Drift Out, and this is surprisingly reminiscent of that. That being said, I, I half suspect Neo Drift Out came before this, and it was definitely a lot better. But, it's still an acceptable game in its own right. Oh man, I kind of... I'll be honest though, I mean, that when I first, first booted this up, just to... Jeez! Okay, the tire squealing gets me, but when I first booted this game up, I thought, okay, ugly graphics. But as I stare at that car, it's kind of starting to uh, grow on me. I will say, though, that the uh, tire squealing is something I can definitely do without. But it really does capture that rally feel of, oh god, a corner, will I take it without dying? It's not always a sure thing with Rally. I mean, as you just saw, that car just crashed out. This is an arcade game with crazy arcade handling. Can you imagine this in real life? Oh, man. Well, even if you can't, there's Richard Burns Rally for that. <laughs> Did my car just do a 180 on a turn? That's what Rally is all about, making your car do impossible things. So, um, the controls. Uh, the first button accelerates, and you can turn left and right. And I haven't tested the other buttons, but I assume there's a break. But come on, we're playing a racing game on an arcade machine. Who, who's gonna break? If you break in a racing game on an arcade machine, you're gonna break my heart. That's that's not something you do. Boy, now we've got the annoying. You're gonna lose the. Uh oh, time exceeded. Something tells me I'm not exceptional. I kind of like this thing to build a checkpoint out of the failed racers. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if they, if they like, just took the audio from an actual rally and then they're just overlaying it. Oh, um... Dang. Alright, let's see from where I continue. I will admit, I mean, even though Neo Drift Out does it a lot better, this is still an interesting game. Alright, yeah, so the second button is break, and I may have overblown the whole don't break for racing games thing, but, uh, we're just making some nice progress. Okay, I swear to god, the car just turned the wrong way. Which, in retrospect, isn't all that unprecedented. I mean, look at what else the car is doing. It's, it's doing basically everything but... Well, no, because it even flipped over. Oh! Cars should not make that noise. Jesus, cow. This is intense. I'm loving this. This is also what it's about, as far as main game exploring. When you just find that game and you play it, and it turns out to be... Legitimately kind of fun. I mean, maybe it's not good enough to be your new favorite, but you're kind of glad you made the effort and did the experience just to see what's out there in the land of world-made games. Jeez, man. Okay, this this is intense. Remember when I said that Neo Drift Out was better? 
Neo Drift Out is Neo Drift Out is very arcadey, whereas this vaguely real lifey. Also, the game's in French. I don't know if that's quite a um, good thing or a bad thing, but it's it's just out there. Something you should note. If you can speak French, though, you'll be very disappointed because there's they just say like numbers and then do stuff. All right, let's let's try and get serious here. I don't, making all noise. Dang. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Car's down. This... I don't even know. I mean, the game is so good, I just like, I don't even want to talk. I just want to play the game. That's... Alright, forget everything I said. This game is probably actually worth playing. Just, like, oh man, because the breaking is really subtle. There's, like, a lot of weird stuff you can do to, uh, make the turning even better. And, I mean, your car is making, like, crazy sounds throughout the entire time. Oh no, okay. Even though I very clearly was gonna die there. Oh! So, well... Oh my gosh. I, I really cannot tell if this is like a good game or a bad game. I mean... The sound, the visuals are second rate, but the gameplay, there's just something about it. Just something about making that turn and just like doing everything in your power just to not die. That's. I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of like button mashing in a fighting game where you just, you just go all out in there. You just smash everything up. You just see what you can do. And. Oh my gosh. You know, I, I think I teased that I was gonna... Oh, wow. Let's check out this... Oh, there are shortcuts. I didn't particularly like that about Neo Drift Out. I mean, there are no shortcuts in Real Rally. But... Alright, maybe I can make it further. We'll see. Bon voyage. Okay, let's... I could probably make it to Madrid. Alright. Maybe if I go, like, less heavy on the brake. Maybe if I treat it like a real rally, like, actually brake for the corner. Nah, because you don't, you don't get any extra control. I don't, I don't even think there are physics in this game. Clearly no physics in this game. Although there are random hazard trucks. What are you doing there, hazard truck? Why are you doing this to me? Well, if I could hazard a guess, I'd say it was just another gameplay mechanic designed to slow you down and suck more quarters. There. Also, is anyone seeing a time limit of any kind? Oh, hey, I finally made it without 
saying you're over time. I don't know, I'm feeling good. Maybe I'll be able to make it to the next stage. We'll see. Yeah. Almost lost my car in like an even more ridiculous pattern than it was already. Go, oh my god. D did my car just go diagonally over that jump? That's like the craziest thing I've ever seen. I love this game. Like, I swear to God, I, I, I turned for like half a second and my car is going diagonally off a jump. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you noticed that the uh, turns don't really resemble what the, um. Oh! What the spotter car is telling me to go? This is... I don't know. This is just... ridiculous. Okay. So I think the time extended, you're good so long as you don't crash. Great over. Oh, or not. Or they just tempt you on. Alright, I can see this going on and on forever. But... man. I don't know, it's, it's a cheesy, corny game, and like, you'd think it would be horrible, and yet I'm buying into it. I'm loving it for some whatever reason. That, friends, is what it's all about. It's all about finding that diamond in the rough. Alright, that's been Ashkabat Cat, so this cat's got a scat.